What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we got another leak for Captain America in terms of new skins which is just absolutely crazy. It's literally happened again and then we got a leak for the new character that is meant to be added into this game and then lastly we have something else super cool that is happening today or maybe it's already happened when I posted this. If it, if it has then you definitely know what I'm talking about but like I said we got a ton of stuff to cover so go ahead, grab yourself a snack, go ahead and grab some popcorn ideally. And that said, as always, crush the like button and hey, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It don't give you superpowers yet, but what it does is it makes you super cool. Alright, so go ahead and click it. So, diving into this video, okay, the new character has been leaked. Now, real quick, just skip like 60 seconds forward if you don't want to hear who the character is. But diving into who this character is, okay, in 3, 2, 1, the character leaked, okay, is actually Kate Bishop. Now, this is crazy, alright? So, people I'm assuming who have the game already were well, basically able to go through the notes again, except this time time they were actually able to get images of Kate Bishop in different skins which more or less confirm that I, I guess that's who we will be seeing get revealed in the war table stream right more or less because it's actually in the day one patch but then again it could be another character too all right so we technically don't know but what we do know is that in as far as game files go and actual you know images go in these files this is what we're seeing we're seeing Kate Bishop so again I mean, going on the basis that it is a day one patch it all kind of makes sense as well but you guys let me know what you think on that in the comments below and you know do you think they're gonna maybe drop another character because they are really hyping up this war table event and personally I mean Kate Bishop would be a cool character but like it wouldn't be a character to just get me super excited if you know what I mean so I don't know that's just a personal opinion but you guys let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below now, going on to the second thing, we got even more skins for Captain America leaked and of course you can see them on screen right now, which literally have me super super hyped, okay? So, right here we got, I think it's what, like six skins? Yeah, six skins, alright? Which is crazy. Now, interestingly enough, I think a few of these were actually leaked before, not all of them as far as I'm aware. Um, and what's super interesting, and I, I probably should add here that I did actually have to squint, okay? But when it comes down to taking a look at these costumes, and the one where Captain America's wearing that red jacket, of course, I'm pretty sure he has a beard as well, okay? So, facial hair and so forth, it, it just looks super cool, alright? It looks super cool. And from all the leaked ca uh, gameplay that we've actually got for Captain America, I mean, I gotta say, right, and especially from like, I guess, what was it, like two or three minutes that we got to play with him as in the beta, I'm probably gonna main him now over Iron Man, in my opinion, okay? I don't know yet, but as far as the gameplay goes, just dashing your shield about, it looks so cool. I don't know, there's just something about, like, I mean, if you can relate to this, let me know in the comments below, but if you play as, like, a certain character, and, I don't know, you do some type of attack, sometimes it just feels way more brutal, right, than if another character was to do, if that makes sense. And that's exactly the kind of vibe that I was getting when you literally just dash your shield at someone. So that's, I mean, it just, it's just cool, all right? It just really, really is cool. So let me uh, know in the comments below as well which one of these suits are your favorite. Now, getting further into what else is super cool that is happening today is a new trailer, but not just any. It's a CG trailer, so it's going to be crazy. Okay, so the update of this part is, of course, we did get the trailer, and you're seeing it in the background right now, but if you want to check it out with the sound, then there is a card on screen right now, but the trailer was absolutely insane, and I'm sure it is jam-packed with a load of other teasers as well, uh, or I guess you could say Easter eggs almost right but one that is being pointed out a lot okay is basically where it goes to showing uh, the real people actually playing the game one of the people are wearing a she-hulk t-shirt so again this is another big big teaser 
towards another character coming into the game but is it going to be the one that they do reveal of course next Tuesday it's crazy because we have so many solid factors like I said earlier with the day one patch having Kate Bishop then of course we have She-Hulk now but then there's also teasers towards a lot of people speculating if there'll be Black Panther as well so again check out that trailer and let me know if you do see any other easter eggs what we do actually have which is interesting is we still got that new blog that is going to be happening today as well and just to quickly touch up on that um just in terms of what's happening for forward like from today onwards really and shout out to the play avenger twitter fan account again because they actually posted it but i think it's really cool because it just gives you like a brief overview of what's happening over the next few days and what it says is we got the daily blog post and then we got the cg trailer to today of course then we got the war table and early access on september the 1st numerous world exclusives a look at the first post launch story season new hero new trailers and just in general a look at high level content alongside a roadmap for additional heroes villains missions regions and gameplay modes and then lastly what we do have is a behind the scenes video and i mean like these guys said it literally won't end there the game will literally be playable so as of right now if you're going to be getting access on the 1st of september of course there's only four days left for that which is absolutely crazy like i keep saying we are really really you know in the end game essentially like I, without sounding cringy that's basically where we are and finally i just want to add this um because i saw this actually no there's two more things so i'll go into the other thing that i was just about to say last but first of all okay you can now get your hands on a marvel's avengers limited edition game drive for playstation 4 that will be available on holiday 2020 and in general i just think these look super cool like hands down it's crazy like if you can get one definitely get one because again it's exclusive and it just all in all looks super cool but going on to what i was actually going to say and this is the final thing for this video and i saw this in a mythical lands of reddit where somebody just shared their photos they took through photo mode in the beta and i just thought this one right here with iron man just looks so legit and i know there have been a ton of other ones out there too that just go super in depth um really we're talking like spider-man ps4 level when it comes down to att attention to detail that people have been able to get but like i said the one that you see in the background i mean you can get different kind of feels right and it's entirely up to you like this one just looks cool right but then you get other ones that like i said go really really in depth with attention to detail so it literally looks like you know some type of 4k picture from like straight out of a movie right and then you can actually go down the route of just giving it you know like a whole comic book feel but i think it's just going to be super fun because most importantly where it's marvel where it's the avengers and where we're getting all these characters all in all what is the first and most coolest thing you can do with photo mode that is recreate certain things like you know uh, posters for the movies actual scenes and so forth so that's where this is going to become super fun but guys that's going to wrap up this video here we're also going to be covering the blog as well when that comes out we just got so much information literally being thrown at us so bear with me i'll try and keep you guys updated as much as i can but as always subscribe for more awesome content i'll catch you in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos